start the meeting at uh, 7.38. I'll rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, Madam Secretary, do you roll call? All right, roll call. Delecky. Here. Sleds. Here. Shaw. Here. Patterson here. Barely. Oh. Yeah. That's <laughs> Chris's fault. Okay, so now um, we do approval of agenda. Approve the minutes of March 14th as presented. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Mike, do you have to Oh. Sorry. One abstention. Because I wasn't there. Yeah. That's a good reason. <laughs> okay. So now we're moving on to the Orchard Trail uh, Meadows project. Um, so, um, Jeff and Norm, uh, uh, I think that bring things on up to date. Obviously the planner and the engineer had a chance to look at it. Uh, the plan that, that was given here today, in uh, fact just today, uh, so I couldn't get in here anywhere about the application and I didn't get back to Friday night, couldn't pick it up till this morning, so I brought it in quick. Um, but what we can do is kind of go over uh, the comments. Did, they, did everybody get a copy of this way? Um, yes. Thank you, Mike. Should be in your packet. No, Today's packet? No. No, it wouldn't go in your file. No, it would be like a little bit. Oh, that's, no. No? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Let me see about that. More of those. I didn't bring it, but I got an extra copy, but I didn't bring it. Oh, okay, you guys get to share. I can make a copy, Tom, if you did. Well, I've got one copy here. One more. Is there, is there anything you want to back you to? Um, I'll leave back to mine because I'll make all of our time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. comments on that report, okay, um, and of course the plan, this plan has a little more um, engineering and stuff on it than that plan does, but 
uh, and has comments on it as well. We'll address those. Uh, number one, um, we'll go and we'll do the, uh, the rural engineering. And instead of water main, bullet point number six, the length of the dead end water main was raised as a concern. And anyway, we're always suggesting that we loop the water main as a suggestion now. Uh, at the end of the Falls Act to the end of the Liberty Lane to the east. In order to accomplish this request, we would need to install about 980 feet of water main. There might be a way to do a study of the proposed system and show that the water will not become stagnant once all the homes that have been occupied. And so one of the things that I had the engineer do, and I see he made a mistake already, but to address the water main issue, the uh, on there, he made a capacity of water main, an average daily use, okay? Well, when I seen the average the capacity of the water main, 8 inch water main, I seen it was uh, 9,880 gallons for the hole. And I started thinking the water main was only 948 feet long. So that means, and, and so if you took the math, that would be 10 gallons of over 10 gallons of water per running foot. Well, if you take an 8-inch water main, only one foot high, I don't think it would hold 10 gallons of water. It wouldn't even hold 5 gallons of water. So I was somewhere along the line, I made a mistake, but I did go ahead and talk to my telephone, with my cell phone, and I got the, the right answer, and it would be roughly 2,480 feet, or 80 gallons. So that's how many gallons of lace in this pipe. If you use an average of 100 gallons, a person per day. Uh, some of this value is even more, some a little bit less. But from what I understand, that's about what people use. If there was 31 units, that would be 6,200 gallons a day. So basically, the water would be changed at least twice a day. So I don't think you'd have much of a stagnation problem. Uh, because the cost of running that would be, actually there's more pipe here, 900 and... and uh, 46. Uh, 80 feet. Uh, the other thing compared to 946. So, and just to run the regular water main and is over 40,000, that's under ideal conditions. And then you'd have to go through the detention pond, and I mean, it would be a nightmare. So, basically, that would be something that wouldn't be, at least, it wouldn't be economically feasible in the project, and it's not really necessary. So, that would be one of the things. Um, because we would have, like I say, you'd have at least two changes of water a day, so the pipe wouldn't get stagnant. So you know, if they have enough units, only half full, less than half full, it would be would be a change every day. Uh, bullet point number two. But couldn't you loop without doing that? Just loop the system. So right here at Franklin. Well, you got a twelve-inch main. We could tap. I guess you tap back. You could tap back into the twelve-inch main. I mean, I don't. So that would be your goal suggestion. Somewhere is a, uh, into Franklin's main, correct? Well, there, there's two mains there, isn't there? Um, that says something about two mains, or I, I don't know. Yeah, I, don't I, kinda, I, I saw something like that too. Okay, so. But anyway, that would be we'll something. Okay, yeah, so the next. The gist of it, yeah. Uh, the next bullet point: the site plan could incorporate 24 foot wide roads. That's what we put in all our projects, and most are that way, because you don't park on the street in this type of a project. Well, uh, but the code, your ordinance says 28 feet. Yes, but, and that's what you said, but you said you're patterning this off of McVicker Meadows? Yeah. I happened to go there yesterday. So I thought I wanted to go there on Granny's uh, um, Easter Sunday day when people <laughs> would be most there yeah. and see what the parking was like. And they actually do park on the street. Well, if you read the things, they, they do park on the street, okay, but it, it's for loading and unloading, and, and people take advantage of this. I, I did bring the, uh, the condo docks and stuff like that, mm -hmm. and you can, uh, there's certain, uh, that would be part of the condo docks, but you're right, mm -hmm. they do park, they do park oh, on yeah. the street. I mean, it, but, it's but, the only, I mean, you can't expect that. Granny's going to have the kids over for Easter dinner or Christmas or any other holiday, and they're all going to park in the driveway. No, nah, they're, they're all going to park in the street, okay? okay? They do that. Right. You just can't park. Just like even in town here, <coughs> in the wintertime, you can't park in the street. 
Well, you can't. You just can't overnight park it. No overnight park. It's about the same thing here. Okay. So if you have a big old party, they're, they'll be parked all the way around the yeah. wherever you can park. It works. So that that would we be just one. need to kind of be clear when we say that there's no parking, but there is. Well, there is parking. Okay. You know, I mean, <clears throat> there is parking. And and you're right. So a lot of this stuff is going to have to be addressed in the condo. In the, in the condo docks, yeah. that, that, that type of thing, no overnight parking, almost the same type. In fact, I did bring a copy of the condo docks mm -hmm. that you would receive if you bought a unit over there, or any unit, it doesn't matter whether it's there or here or wherever we went. But I just want to show you this. this one, I just picked one up today. Um, this. <laughs> This is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> About the size of your ordinance, <laughs> the city ordinance. Yeah. So things are pretty well regulated. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, and, and, that, and that one, obviously, one, the one in our Maiden Meadow, or one over in Bruce Meadows, we would have to tweak some because there was individual wells in each one of those sites. But you, here, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't be able to do it if you don't have the aquifer that that, uh, that did have. Okay, so, but the street's another one. Um, the soil borings, uh, we would put the roads in, we would do some test, okay, as it stands, I think on the plan of show three, uh, just to see, but the roads will all be put in Macomb County specs. The biggest reason that there was a problem with phase three wasn't the bait, it was the sub-base of the, of the road itself, not the ground conditions. Uh, the sub-base had, um, sub, the sub-base in that, on the roads were, was garbage. Simple as all that. Um, that's of course we have inspectors that supposedly inspect that, but that's that's neither here nor there. But anyway, the ground conditions probably are good, but we do three test holes, but they will be installed according to Macomb County, and plus the fact the association has to maintain them. And if you've been over to uh, the one in Bruce Meadows, those rows are about well, what 24 years old, and they're still. I mean, they're maintained, but the association has to maintain them. Okay, so that takes care of the engineer. Um, that takes care of the engineering. Uh, the planner, um, uh, I guess in the ordinance there's a preparation for a tree survey. Uh, obviously the trees, when you have that many houses in an area that big and with roads and everything else, there won't be too many trees left standing. But one of the things that, that we propose, anyway, would be at least a minimum of one tree per lot. And then when you get around, you know, some of those call the sack things, you probably put two where it might be a side yard as well. And then there's landscape. So the whole thing is landscaped, and that's not done by individuals. Individuals can add to the landscaping, but there's a minimum amount of landscaping. If you want over to Bruce Meadows, you'll see some people have a whole lot, some have a minimum. But uh, there is a basic landscaping, and there's trees. Um, design. So that will show up in a different plan. Pardon? They'll show up in your landscaping plan then. There would be a landscaping plan, uh, but that comes when I start bidding out for landscaping. You know, in other words, that I get a hold of a landscaper and get bids on certain things and get try and get some input what might look the best. Right. That would be before the project would be approved. Mm -hmm. That could be. That would come along. That, that would be something I would be doing in, while they're. The, the engineering drawings have to be done, uh, obviously, you know, the manhole sizes and sewer depths and stuff. The landscape plan does. Landscaping plan is too. But then, pardon? Landscaping plan And landscaping plan too. as well. That would, yeah. that would come from probably a landscape guy. Mm -hmm. you know, so but that's part of the approval. That'd be part of the approval, yeah. But I mean, that's what we did over there, and that's normally what we, so you get some trees get put back in anyway, so. Um, and there's no super good trees over there. <laughs> well, there's one nice oak tree that I'd like to say that's about six inches diameter, but. <laughs> so we, we kind of do need to, I mean, it, it could be as simple as uh, one of you guys and one of the planning commission members do a walkthrough and find out what's there. Yeah, we can do that. In fact, we can do that anytime. Yeah. But if this won't be many trees. Most yeah. of those trees that are there, there's a there's a hand most of them are under eight inches. I think your tree ordinance has something to say about eight inches. Yeah, it does. And I don't think there's too many trees, and ones that are bigger than eight inches are poppers anyway. And and they don't apply. They don't. So I, it's not a. I don't think that's something that's going to be a big 
Dagman Street uh, and Street or Post Street or private streets. And then he talked about a, a stub. Well, apparently he didn't look at the surrounding area. There'd be no place to stub anything to. No. So that's how design layout, blocks layout, is tied to uh, design through blocks. So, uh, well, for well, pedestrian access to the, the trail. Um, I don't know, and obviously there's, there's not any room for that. Um, something like that could be built, done through the park area, you know, where you first come in. And, and I don't know about, you know, back behind the water main. I mean, there could be something done there. But to, to do, put anything in the sub, there's no room for it. That would be something I think that we should make sure that we address. Well, yeah, that, that could be. Uh, once again, I'm not in a position to take a lot out to put a, a street because the only, the only people who want to use that thing in theory would be the people in, this, in the area itself. Mm -hmm. Okay, and basically some of those back up to the trail, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, probably about a third of them or so. And then the ones that don't, I'm sure there are going to be cases where some kid wants to take his bicycle, he'll run between two units. I can't imagine. I mean, I don't think that's going to be a big concern. But if you wanted something that would open up the, that hole in the town, then that would have to come. I don't think that's what they're looking for. But. Yeah. That would just be, in fact, not only that, that would be one of the things that would be a plus or minus as far as sales of the unit and some of that we're not too concerned with. Wall Street Park, we already, we already addressed that. Well, one thing I knew probably wouldn't fly, but I thought I'd throw it in there anyway. When we do those trees, sometimes when we do these projects, they uh, you plant the trees, you know, at, at the end of the project and then the landscaping and all that, and then the people move in. A lot of times people don't care, don't take care of the trees and they die. Right. <laughs> and uh, although I will admit there's only a couple of communities, one I think is Rochester Hills. Yep. I was thinking of pure, but I don't think it's pure. But anyway, there's a couple of units, uh, areas that you put in money and they'll plant the trees all at one time. It'll, but that requires a, maybe a you know, bigger city like Rochester Hills or something like that. So that probably wouldn't work here. Now we did talk about trying to do a, a proposed temporary construction access through Depot Street. That would that would be something that probably Ed would have to, you know, we got to watch out the manholes there. I mean, there's, and I don't even know if it's really feasible. I've walked it a couple times, and I think we could do it. Yeah, I don't know. Your plan doesn't have where the water treatment plan is and then we have to be real careful as to the well site but that would have to be approved by council. The, the well site is, the, what's the distance though? That was served, that, that was state, it's over 200 feet. Yeah, if, if you show the well to the east or the western boundary of the east side, but there's, it's not a boundary or a, a dimension to the I thought it was southern that, boundary. The first plan. I thought somebody wrote a plan, uh, wrote it down. No. Mm -hmm. Not on the first plan either? No, no this is the first one. It shows it. 200, yeah. uh, 230. Yeah, that, that, that's to the western boundary, not the southern boundary. Oh, 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 you're talking about. Yeah, this is the part where you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it, I, we just had to get it uh, for the subject. So that's pretty much. That's pretty much the, uh, the story there. Uh, so I think there wasn't too many things to address. But so you haven't talked directly to the planner or the engineer, have you? I haven't talked directly to either one of them. Okay. So any questions, anybody? So you do know that under the ordinance, this we've got to make some something to make this work because under our current ordinance, this doesn't work. Yeah, I know. So I don't. I, I was kind of looking under subdivision ordinance or the uh, uh, a site condo thing or a plan development. Um, so that one of the conversations I had with uh, 
Brian Keithy, our planner, was a planned uh, unit development, uh, something in planned development. Um, uh, so somehow we have to work something out that, because this is in the R1A, which is none of the sites fit the that. Yes. There is a there is another thing that the state put out some years back, and I think I put a just an overview of it, and that's contract zoning. Okay. Yeah, you did mention that. And what contract zoning is, it addresses stuff like this. You don't even need to get the, the property rezoned or anything. What you need to do is we come in those we come in here and we sit down and say this is what we're going to do. And I don't know all the rules. I didn't read it, you know, debate them or anything. But basically, it's a contract, like any contract. And there's time limits. In other words. Uh, and if you make changes, uh, I don't know what kind of changes I could think of necessarily, but um, if you make changes, you have to go back to the city because it's a contract and it has to be mutually agreed upon. So um, it, it's just it's contract zoning. And that would, that would really solve this problem like right now. But I have never used it, so I don't know what it entails. So that would be, in this particular case, that would probably be the way to go. Because everybody sits down and we say, okay, this is the deal we made. It's like any deal. And uh, that's how all these things would be addressed. Okay, so um, that's kind of our first thing. The um, DEQ came back with the uh, firm capacities for the um, sewer and water were, were okay. Um, I read the one on the water. I haven't seen the one on the sewer, but I heard that was okay too. I think I might have that, but it was everything was yeah okay on the sewer as well. So, um, but there. Uh, so the the big thing is to have the unit come up with some kind of a, a game plan where we can actually do the do the project. The, um, the project is a um, we'd like to do the project, but we can't do it in its form, in in your form and our form. So we've got to blend the two forms together. Um, so after that's done, so I'll contact our planner again and then kind of talk to him because him and I have talked about this before. Um, but now that we're getting closer, and this meeting was again just to kind of refresh everybody's thing and kind of get everybody on the same plane. Um, so after that, uh, would you be opposed to talking direct to the planner? Oh no, I'm not. I mean, I'd be happy to. In fact, okay. usually that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I, I think so. And we've done that in the past. So yeah, um, but just aware that any time you talk to the planner, it's going to go, you know. The, the planner bills me? Yeah, <laughs> oh, he doesn't bill you, he bills us. <laughs> and then we bill you. <laughs> My goodness. That's how they work. <laughs> Why am I surprised? <laughs> okay. No, I, I, I guess understand. It may actually simplify the process. Absolutely. And I don't have no problem with that, even a little bit. Because okay. it'll get this thing rolling. Because time's a waste, you know. Economy's good now. Right. <laughs> okay. Right. So, uh, well, that's kind of why I wanted to do this meeting. Okay. So I knew we weren't really ready to do any nuts and bolts or anything, but I kind of wanted to, you know, refresh everybody's memory and get, you know, kind of start the snowball. Well, if everybody's on, basically, if the, the, what we proposed this evening, like the 24-foot streets on, and, and, and the, the water would probably be the biggest single thing, and the streets, obviously, and the bike path, uh, or well, it wouldn't be a bike path, it'd be some, and I might be able to put an easement, there's a couple foot easement, of, uh, because it's only those people in the sub. There's only 31 of them, and like I say, a third of those, or five or six, seven of them, have access to the park anyway. Or, uh, actually, they back up to the water main easement. You know, so I mean, it's really, they could go through the park, and, and that would be all, you know, getting to, getting to the, uh, the bike path was not going to be a problem for the people that live there. I mean, the worst thing that could happen, they'd have to go up to the park and go down the back end of those lots. What, what, what are you calling the park? That up where, where you first come in, that park, yeah. that little area, mm -hmm. that's where you probably, what, you, what I, my thought process was, the, 
the, the storm is really on the other side of the water main, you know, if you all looked at the plan. And that usually takes a 10-foot easement or something like that. That 10-foot easement is either half. Or but that's a 10-foot easement that the village would have to grant you. Grant us, right. Yeah. So well, that's and, another stumbling block. Yeah, that another one? Well, I mean, it's... it's yeah. it, it, that, that would be... If, it, if I can work around that, sure. it's just that it's easier to do that. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. probably just, I got it's just another hurdle. So it's just, just another, right. these, these, this is where the contract zoning comes in. Yeah. And as luck would have it, you guys own the, the property, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it, it's something that, it, it, this is, this is a, a team play here. You know, in other words, there's some things that will make this project easier. Uh, one would be to put the, the the biggest thing that thing is usually used for, you know, those back, the drainage, uh, you can say, well, it drains the property and all that. Well, that, so you got grass and that and so on and so forth, that's not really a big problem. It's, uh, that's where I ta usually tap my, put my water taps in. You know, like some crop leads, they go into those. So what I do is I probably bring those up anyway, just put them between two houses or something like that. I mean, it's, I wouldn't have to go back out there, but it's just something that increases the the look of the backyard too. I mean, that'll all be mowed and probably taken care of. You know, I guess what is an easement, and I would maintain that easement. So it's a 15 foot for the water main, it says. So you want to try to so come from the park down that easement all the way to the trail. Pardon? I so said what you wanted to do was to use that easement between the two. And come from the park, go straight down. And just go straight south down to the, the trail. Just go straight. It, it says it's a fit. It's court on your drawing. It says a 15 existing 15 foot easement for water main. Which that's bigger than I thought it was. I was expecting 12. But. Well, I would if the if the if those manholes if the storm goes behind it, that would be another 10 or 15 feet. I don't know what that easement is, yeah. but that's where that would go. And probably the logical spot would be to put it down there. And then that way there is all maintained by the association. Yeah, so water main easement. Split it. Storm yeah. easement, the whole thing. I had to do that for my neighbor. I took for Steve for Waskins. I had a, I had a split. We did the split because it was all on his, so I took nine feet of it so they can build their house. Oh, okay. Otherwise, if you notice his garage is on our is on my property. Right on my property. <laughs> No sidewalks? All right, there's a sidewalk on there. Is that is that what's in front of the court, or are you going to have like the other? Yeah, you're, it's running right on the end of the yeah, street. Yeah, that's right. This this. Okay, so there's no, there's nothing else in the right of way. Right. No green space. <coughs> sidewalk. If you just like that one over there, it just goes right to the curb. Okay. The sidewalk does. Yeah. Yeah, that's a little band around. I thought that's when I was looking at you from Franklin. You see the with the. And I, didn't I thought there was grass. No, that no. sidewalk butts right to the curb. Franklin's sidewalk on the property. Very, yeah, usually that's how you see it, only because if you have like a two foot strip or something, it's kind of tough to maintain. Right. It, kind of, right. it dries up, you can't sprint with it, you can't do anything with it. Right. Yeah. What, what sometimes happens, <laughs> people, when they, when they do park, they'll park up and sneak up on the sidewalk a little bit. Mm -hmm. There was a guy over there, in, uh, <coughs> the one in Romeo, boy, he'd be out there like flies on you know what. And, <laughs> he he knock on the door and tell him to get that thing off the sidewalk. Uh -huh. Well, he was an old cement man. Yeah. <laughs> so he uh, didn't like that. He didn't like that. But anyway, that was neither here nor there. Yeah, we did say the turnaround, the cul-de-sacs, because then you got to figure out you got a garbage truck around there, right? And then the fire truck turnaround. It's it's. Uh, so what is what is that? What's the band? What, what is your dimension? You know what that is on the public uh, This says it's to, uh, I don't know, I know he says in Macomb County, I guess they have cul de sac requirements. So that's what he used. I think it states on there. Uh, okay, yeah, at the bottom. Yeah. So whatever the county requires, yeah, that's what it's on. Property road standards. Yeah, that's what the yeah, spec is. Sac radian, yeah. Like I said, the whole thing is pretty well county specs. So what we're going to have to show this to the fire department 
So I'd like that, you know, in the future drawing, not just to say it to this spec, but have it what is it's it's stated. So then when the fire guys look at it, they can say, okay, you don't have to look anything up. Yeah. So I say, say, put the two radiuses in and put the diameter of the cul de sac. Yeah. Radius of the two eyebrows. You know, one nice thing is small enough, you can almost park anywhere there and get, <laughs> get, a, get a hose to the house. I thought I did see fire. So you got four of the longest distance you'd have, it would probably be 200 feet. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I think I think we've got a radius on it. Real well, yeah. is right in the front, okay. So what's your, what, what's your time frame? So I think to come up with the thing for the, um, to get the zoning right, um, might take a meeting or two. What what do you what, what what's your plans? My plan is to start. If you guys say you can start today, I'd start tomorrow. I mean, I can't. Well, I can't get anybody that quick. But I got to let out for bids. I mean, I got to I got to get the engineering drawings so, done. Okay. So the sequence of events is number one. We have to we have to come up with what we're going to do here. Are we going to uh, put the, the storm you know on the other side? You know the things that are different from what we have to do. What are we going to do about those? Okay. Uh, to make sure the project's a pliable project because if the cost is getting, once I lift some lift pump had to be done, that kind of soured my prospect on the thing a little bit because that's somewhere between $150,000 and $180,000. And that's sort of, and I don't have only 31 units to spread that over. So that comes out to $5,000 a unit right then and there. And there really isn't a whole lot left. To, in fact, there isn't anything left. That's what maybe the village would even work with us a little bit on uh, tap fees. <laughs> um, okay, so from so this stuff is beyond uh, the planning commission. So the easement. So what are your what are the things that you? Uh, that you just mentioned. So the well, you're all on that that thing that that response letter. Well, I understand that, but so um, again, I, I'm going to have to go to council and get. Then we're going to have to get with council to approve these certain things. So, right. um, if you could kind of help me out on just what I'm going to council for. Okay. Well, basically, uh, the water main. Uh, we don't want to extend that. Is that what you're talking about? Well, that's that's going to be engineering. Okay. So. Um, but I'm so the easement is yeah, going to strictly be council. Yep. So any kind of anything like that. So you want okay, a 10 well, foot easement or a 15 foot easement into the um, well eight site, right? Right. Okay. So they got that. Uh, there's any other easements? You want to use that easement to get access to the trail. And access to the trail. And okay, so that and then okay trail. And then the other one would be a temporary temporary construction access through depot. Okay. Depot. I don't even know if that it might not even be pliable. I don't I don't need though because I don't know if you can get by this is an old map. Well I'll tell you so, that, here keep going yeah to the other side um, treatment plant. That's right on there. With the building here, I don't know if you can hear. If, if you're going to be able to go in through there, I will just physically have to it take looks, a look to see. It looks like it's close. From your look at, uh, on, she, on the cover page. Well, it, it depends it, on where the, the, um, the where the arsenic treatment plant is. Because yeah. the Depot Street, it's uh, the arsenic treatment plant. If Depot Street was extended, is right would be, it would be it'd be right in it. Yeah. And I would say he's got, there's just, on the cover pit, there's just a, I mean, there's some, there's some possibly. And I don't there. know if there's enough room between the buildings of the BPW yeah. to get through there. But that's, I know that some of those manholes that's showing on your plan, you did spot those, you know, the catch basins and stuff like that. Uh -huh. That's showing on the plan. Uh, you know, this type, this one looks like it might even be on this one. But anyway, that's where those are. So I'd have to probably either whip around here, you know, and that would be something you just... Because your property goes right to the trail, correct? Yeah. Yeah, it goes right to the trail. Yeah. Mm, no, it doesn't. 
Well, there's a yeah, the, the right line there. Well, the, 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 the home trail start. This is these are for that. That's 100 feet. Easy. I thought you were right here. Oh no, that's well eight. No, well, oh, you're over here. here. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, then you got to go all the way through this. Yeah. So we'd have to kind of get a current map to look at that. Yeah, we'd have to. But that's if that doesn't happen, it's just something that would be easier to do. But it's not a you know, it's not a big thing. Yeah, it's not a trust. If we can make it work, we can make it. We can maybe do, figure on that. Just we can work on that later. It's not. Uh, it's just a thought. Okay. So the big thing. So what if you don't get this 15 foot easement and the well site? Uh, if I don't get the 15 foot easement, I can. Uh, I can work. I can work that out. I mean, it's not the end of the world. But it's finally, as you call it, a bike path through one of the 10 lots at the south end. Well, pardon? You would be, you, you called it a bike path, per se. It's, it's between lots six through 15 are the only ones that have access to the trail. Yeah. So you'd have to find a path between one of these two part, one of these parcels. Yeah, and that, uh, and that may even be one of your bigger ones. Of course, you the park. Between 14 to 15 may be the most suitable, or six or seven. Well, the ones that make the most sense would be like 10 to 12. It would, you could do a little tiny, I mean, it wouldn't so be really be, tiny in there. It would be tiny, you know, five foot, like a five foot walk or something like that. Or, in fact, one thing you might want to do is not even make it out of concrete or asphalt. Do, uh, I don't know what you do with it. I'd have to talk to a landscape guy with you know, some sort of mulch or something. Mulch or something. You know, it just has to be a some place to get through. Yeah, and then yeah. I could take and a close look at that like because that. I'd rather do the like, one stuff in winters and whatnot. Yeah, if it could be a landscape thing that doesn't, I don't want something that you know that the people that live there is going to be all bent out of shape about. I mean, you know, someone's going to live next to those that little bike path. Right. So that's the big thing. If it's just a some sort of a landscape type of thing that. You know, it's like acts, boat launches on lakes. You know, sometimes they're never used, but they're still there. All right. So this, excuse my ignorance, but this drawing that you're submitted uh, today, how many of the points does it address from the engineer and the planner? Almost everything. Okay. All right. No, it's, and when I say addresses, soil. addresses. Like it doesn't address the bike path necessarily. I mean, it's not showing on the plan, but the, the water thing is calculated. Uh, we went through that, it was calculated wrong. It's only 2,400, so you got to turn over water two points a lot of times a day. Uh, but that's just a, I don't know how we came up with that. Well, I know the village is, through the years, any dead line that they try to loop. So even if the usage was there, they tried to loop the lines. Um, okay. Uh, so, I'm pretty sure Becky forwarded this stuff today, if not, she was going to do it tomorrow morning. Um, so then, they should have it before the end of the week. Um, give them a little bit of time, give us a little bit of time to talk to council. Um, and then maybe in about two weeks we'll have a conversation and find out just kind of where we're at and yeah. um, plan the next step. That would work out well. And I, uh, the biggest thing when you give it the planner, um, point out the uh, calculations on the water. Okay. <laughs> that might make a little difference with the fellow. So I think that would be more the engineer. Yeah. So and I've talked, I, and I've talked to real engineering as well. Okay. I worked with them. Uh, they were the engineers up in the pier for a project that we did years ago. I think we use rope too, don't we? Yeah. The village uses rope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. So I would. Who's, who's your? Uh, who, who's who from Lowell do you work with? Um, oh, okay. Skylas. Skylas, right? Yeah. yeah. I think I worked with him up in the pier. Oh, no, this would be a long time ago, but. Yeah, I can even talk to him. That's not a problem.
Any other questions? Street lighting? No, I think we're kind of a ways away from, I think we just plan on the, the uh, stuff at this point. Since you mentioned it, what we did over there uh -huh. uh, in McVicker Meadows, uh, there was a light on each side controlled by dawn of dust type of mm -hmm. thing, and that lit that up. If you go over there in the evening, you'll find that's a real, there's no big glaring street lights or anything like that, like I got in front of my house around here. So yeah, there's all kinds of things that you can do with yeah, lighting that, today. Yeah, that's what we did over there, and that, that works out real fine. If you go over there in the evening, you'll see. Where are you going to locate post office boxes on? Uh, there's a spot <coughs> showing on the plan. Yeah, when you yeah, first yeah, come in, there's a pad, and then there's, there's one of those CBUs. The northwest corner. CBUs, I call them. Yeah, in the uh, middle of the park in the area. Yeah. yeah it would probably be two units. And that's what we did. If you see over in uh, McVicker Meadows, we did the same thing there. Just right at the entrance. Just yeah, right, right at the entrance, right. a bump in the road. And uh, that works out real well. Like how many, how many are the box? 16. 16. 16. And so you have two full. And how many do we have? I think we have five. Five? Yeah, I think there's five. Five or six. A retired post. And that's how I used to work on those units. Yeah, that. And the one over there, I'd probably make it nice, you know, like I did in, in McVicker Meadows. You know, where they, there's a little spot you can put notices and stuff, and I'd probably use the same, in fact, I might use the same plans if I can find it, because that seems to work out real well, because they're all loaded from the back. Right, they're loaded from the back. They're loaded right. from the back. So, it, it, it'll it work that, that uh, and try and get something to look pretty, pretty nice. Some of the gear, like the, on ours, they use the front to load, but they're supposed to use the back. Yeah, the, the back, <laughs> I, I guess you can look from the front, but the yeah, back it's... Yeah, I know the carriers and ours do look from the front. Yeah. But they're supposed to look from the back, that's... It was some place... Convenience. ...that the post office... I can do that here, right? I can put mailboxes on the site, but I know some community somewhere where the post office didn't do that. Uh, I think you have to check with them before you put them in. I don't think. Or no, you got to. Yeah, you got to you tell got them what you're going to do and they right. have all that. And right. got to got the eight inches thick concrete. And right. And yeah, they down. inspect. Yeah. Oh yeah, they inspect it. Yeah. Yeah. I've done a few of those. Yeah. <laughs> they do have different size boxes too. There's eight, twelves, and sixteens. I think actually. They're so, smaller boxes. I, I would get that's a post office thing, and I get with yeah. them. Street lights, so like to say that. That works real well in the bigger metal set. That works real well. It lights really lights it up without having this big glare of thing. All right. Talked about our turning radiuses for the fire trucks and garbage yeah. trucks. Street lights, landscaping plan, easement for park access, water capacity, road width. You mentioned too about you know like, yeah how to get the uh, lot sizes. So I think where we're at now is just kind of get uh, preliminary approvals from council to go along with the project and to uh, see what they're going to say about an easement, um, see what uh, the engineer. Uh, going to say about the the things that have come back in the planner, uh, and then kind of come up with how we're going to or how we're going to incorporate this into our uh, master plan or zoning ordinance. So once we do that, that's kind of the preliminary hurdles, and then we'll start actually working on the individual building blocks. Yeah. So after a brother sells this norm, you ready to get dirty again? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> There's one way to be honest. <laughs> I'm so happy with this. Well, yeah, that bag of lifts, you know, I just banging on time, tap into that sewer, and that lift station kind of. Kind of okay, so that, so I've heard about the lift station, and, and so what are, you, what are you looking for from the village as far as that goes? Well, any kind of help they would 
help with. I mean, I, I, I was hoping to be able to tap into what's there now. You know, it was everything was sized for that. And well, I know you've had conversations with Ed about that. Yeah. What does he say? What does he say? Well, Ed, no, Ed's, Ed doesn't have, in fact, Ed doesn't have any problem with that. I mean, I went over to where you can talk to him as well. Mm -hmm. You know, where the where the lift station is now in relation to where the lift station is in phase one. Or, you know, well, that's or, what the lift station went really, I think, in phase two. Although we put it in, obviously. Yeah, no, one of those they're they're you're totally redoing, right, Mike? Which lift station are you guys working on? The pump seven. Right now, you're talking about. That's the well seven. Yeah, the well didn't seven. You just do, didn't you guys just do a lift station? Not that I'm wondering, but I, was, I missed the last couple months, so I don't know. Was that something they were just working on? Maybe it was last, maybe it was last year. When did they do that? Yeah. I, I there was something done because we, we, had, the, we had the flooding challenge yeah, too. Well, yeah. yeah. I think it was talk of maybe re, redoing it. And that was that would have been phase two. I think the, the lift station, because that, that's a big lift station, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah, it was designed for 100 and some odd, you know, 100 and 80 houses or 190 houses or some day. I mean, big enough to do everything. Well, I'd say it's almost smack. It's, God, it's like right here. But I, for whatever reason, I don't know why it's never been yeah, talked about too. fixing up that lift station. They're making it larger or whatever the case, or maybe it's not room for it. I, I can't. I don't think they have the room for it. You're no, right. It's right, it's right it's in the right of right in the yeah, front yard. There's no yeah, for whatever reason, it didn't seem like it was something I can't remember why, but it doesn't seem like it was. So usually, a lift station like that has got its own piece of. It's on its own parcel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not in the right of way. Yeah, that. Uh, but anyway, that was put in a long time in the seventies. Christine. Mike. All right, Mike. Chris. You got my big ones. All right. <laughs> Okay. Everybody on board? Yeah, so far. Okay, let's make it happen. <laughs> but let's make it happen as quick as we can. Well, that's what that was this meeting. So, because yeah. uh, there really wasn't anything to do concretely at this meeting. So, just kind of uh, reaffirm what was going on and kind of uh, get a direction and move forward and kind of keep the ball rolling. Well, just to remind the city council that I did give them 15 feet. <laughs> okay, you know what I'm talking. <laughs> okay, and I saved the big tree too. I had after they had the original easement, they wanted a diagonal across there to save that oak tree. In fact, I was going to call the project Big Oak Something, you know, because of that big tree. But everybody knows where the trail is. They don't know where the big oak tree is. Um, what are you going to call it? Big, uh, or it's, uh, Orchard Trail Meadow. Orchard, Orchard Trail, Trail Meadows. Yes. Yeah. What's, like I said, I was going to incorporate that big oak tree in there, big oak metals or something like that. Mm -hmm. But uh, when I passed it on to the guy that was doing my drawings and stuff, he says, why don't you use the trailer? Everybody knows where that yeah, is. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. They don't know where the big oak tree is. That's true. Well, if, I, if it was my luck, if I named it for the oak tree, the oak tree died. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know what? I, I get one of those chainsaw guys and make the biggest whatever it is out of it. There you go. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Well, 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 thank well, you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Are. Yep. And we'll uh, we'll be here for Yep. Whenever that. So give give us a couple of weeks and uh, so council meet Monday. 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 And uh, give the uh, planner and the engineer a couple of weeks. Okay. okay. We'll, we'll be in touch. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, okay. guys. Good night. Okay. All right. Public comment, though. Yeah, thanks. There. Okay, so any public comment? How'd we do tonight? All right. Good, okay. Glad to hear it. Okay, chair report. Uh, I have none. So, adjournment? Adjournment. Uh, motion to adjourn at 8.29. That's, yeah, 8.28. Okay, second? Second. Mike? Okay, all in favor? Aye. 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 Still moved? Aye. Okay.